really smells good. So I'm just going to give this a try now. Mm. The sauce is really rich and creamy and a little bit spicy but not too much. Hi everyone and welcome back to Beauty's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and in today's video I want to share with you how to make my delicious barbecue prawn spaghetti bolognese. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make a really delicious barbecue spaghetti bolognese. So this recipe is really simple but it's also really tasty as well. Now we love a spaghetti bolognese in this house but we also like a barbecue as well unfortunately the weather is a bit temperamental at the moment in the UK it can't decide what it's doing it's sometimes raining and sometimes shining so I decided to combine the two meals together and make a barbecue spaghetti bolognese and it is delicious so the first thing I've done for this recipe is I'm going to put I've put a saucepan onto a high heat on my hob and I'm going to add a little bit of oil to the base of that pan and I'm going to leave the pan to heat up. The pan is getting nice and hot now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in one onion. So I've peeled, sliced and diced one onion and I'm just going to pop that into the base of my pan like so. And then I'm going to fry this until it starts to soften. So this should take around maybe three to five minutes depending on your hob. So yes, I'm just going to continue to fry the onion. The onion has started to soften beautifully. The pan is getting slightly hot so I'm just going to turn the heat down on that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in one carrot and one courgette that I've just simply peeled and grated. The reason I like to grate these is because I find they cook quicker if they're in smaller pieces so they will tend to cook a lot quicker when they're like this and normally if I wasn't blending this uh, sauce at the end it also means that my husband and son don't see the vegetables in their food if they're grated in there they kind of have to eat them so it's a it's a sneaky mummy thing I think there really so yes, but I am going to blend this sauce when I have finished making it and it has cooled down a bit. Um, so I'm just going to continue to fry these for about 30 seconds or so. It doesn't take long. We're also going to leave the sauce on the hob for a little while as well until it becomes jammy. So you don't really need to cook these through too much. Obviously you want them a little bit warm to help you to cook the rest of the sauce. So I think that's done now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the tomatoes. So I have one tin of plum tomatoes here. You can use chopped tomatoes if you want to as well. I didn't realise these were plum ones when I bought them. So uh, I've had to use them but I am blending this as I said. So there won't be big chunky bits of tomato in the sauce either. So I'm just going to... What I'm going to do next is I've got some chicken stock and I'm going to pour the chicken stock, I've got about 200 mils of chicken stock, into the tin and I'm going to swirl it around and I want to get rid of all the juice from around the edges of the tin, which I think I have just done there. I love that trick, that was my grandmother's trick there. So thank you grandma, nana, nanny even. And then... Uh, I'm going to add in the oregano. So I've got one small handful of fresh oregano. If you wanted to use dried, then you could. I'm also going to add to that some dried mixed herbs as well. So just a teaspoon of dried mixed herbs. And if you're using dried oregano, you can use uh, uh, one teaspoon as well, one to two teaspoons. And then to that, I'm going to add some tamari. So I'm just going to add in a couple of tablespoons of tamari. This is serving three people tonight. So the size of the prawns, the amount of prawns I will be using is slightly different to the original recipe. Um, but this sauce will serve four people, so you don't need to worry about that. And then I'm also going to add 
some barbecue sauce as well so this is where the barbecue comes from this is all the smokiness and the flavor um, that's a big lump of barbecue sauce there so i'm going to leave it at that and the barbecue sauce i'm using is a sauce by dr wills i've showed this in previous videos this isn't an advert for them but i really like this barbecue sauce it's got no junk and no gunk in it so there's no artificial colors or flavors in it it's literally just the barbecue sauce and it's really tasty as well and it goes really well with prawns i have to say so yes i am now going to turn the heat back up and bring this to the boil so but before i yeah it's coming to the boil now i'm just going to add some salt and some pepper as well so salt and pepper to your taste the barbecue sauce does have a little bit of salt in it so i won't add too much and it was also quite spicy so i'll only add a little bit of pepper for us uh, we like things spicy we don't like them too spicy but if you want to add more salt and pepper then you can and as i said this has come to the boil so i'm going to turn this down to a medium heat and i'm going to leave it to simmer and then once it's simmered i will let it cool once it's gone jammy i want the i want the sauce to go slightly jammy should take about 15 to 20 minutes before it goes jammy so once it's gone jammy i will leave it to cool and then i will blend it but i'll show you that in a moment the sauce has been on the hob for a good 20 minutes so i've turned the heat off and that's what you call jammy in my eyes so basically what happens is when i pull the spoon back no liquid falls out from the other ingredients it's basically gone like a jam in there and that's the consistency that i like when i blend these ingredients together so now i'm gonna i've turned the heat off so i'm gonna remove this from the heat and i'm gonna set it aside and i'm just gonna leave it to cool and then once it's cooled i will blend it so i left the sauce to cool and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour the sauce into the blender cup <clears throat> like so and then i'm just simply going to blend all of these ingredients together when i've turned it on at the wall that is so i'm going to blend all of these ingredients together <laughs> blended these ingredients until they are smooth so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour this back into the saucepan i will heat it through and then i will add the prawns to it and i'll heat those through make sure those are cooked i'll boil some pasta at the same time and add that in as well at the end i'll add the pasta to the sauce and not the other way around and then i will try some of this and let you know how it tastes but oh my god it smells really good right now i could just eat the sauce alone I reheated the sauce and I added the prawns to the hot sauce and then I waited till they cooked and while they were cooking I cooked off the pasta and then I once the prawns were cooked and they turned a lovely pink color I added the pasta to the sauce and not the other way around and now I'm going to try a little bit of this for you because I can not tell you how good this smells I have to say it's really really smells good so I'm just going to give this a try now. Mm. The sauce is really rich and creamy and a little bit spicy but not too much and the prawns are really well cooked as well and they really complement that sauce and the pasta. So yes, I'm really looking forward to having my dinner this evening. That's how you make my delicious barbecue prawn spaghetti bolognese and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be having this for our dinner this evening and it smells and tastes so good I can't wait. So for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.